Installation of Artificial Reef The Philippines has approximately 27,000 square kilometers of coral reefs. Over the years, however, coral reefs began to vanish. Destructive fishing methods and overfishing all contribute to the massive destruction of the country's once healthy coral reefs. Because of this, tens of thousands have been installed in various parts of the country to provide the ecological functions that were lost with the destruction of coral reefs. Installation of 20 artificial reef domes in Bacong Negros Oriental is a project conceptualized by Philippine Dental Association, Negros Oriental Chapter. A collaborative effort, in cooperation with Metro Dumaguete Lions Club, Suleiman Marine Lab, Bakong Local Government Unit, Barangay officials and the community, professional divers, and volunteers as well. Twenty man-made reef domes were mounted, as part of the Environmental Social Responsibility Program of, the Philippine Dental Association. These domes are much better and sustainable, than those of waste materials commonly used for building reefs. With the continued destruction of what remains of the country's coral reefs, artificial reefs, have become a necessity in many areas, as they also attract bigger fish that prey on small fish. The Implementing Rules and Regulation of Republic Act, 8550, or, the Fisheries Code of the Philippines, as amended by Republic Act, 10654. Define artificial reefs as any structure of natural or man-made materials, placed on a body of water, to serve as shelter and habitat, a source of food, breeding areas for fishery species, and shoreline protection. To the proponents of future artificial reef projects, are advised to consult experts, and follow the guidelines formulated for the purpose. The site of the artificial reef projects, under the guideline, should not be less than 1 km away from existing natural reefs if any, and, 500 meters from existing artificial reefs. The site should also be near alternative food sources such as, sea grass beds, and, must be constructed on a flat barren area of relatively good visibility, and at depth protected from wave action. The artificial reef, should also be installed outside navigational sea lanes, navigational sea routes of local fishermen. Some materials used include, old tires, junk vehicles, or sea crafts. However, these materials are no longer recommended. Concrete domes, block or culverts, and, limestone or rocks must be used. In 
fishing communities, artificial reef projects have succeeded in increasing fish catch. As artificial reefs act like fish aggregating device, that recruits fish from other areas, hence, increasing fish density in a particular area. When a structure, is intentionally placed on the seafloor as an artificial reef, it can create habitat for a variety of marine life. For this reason, artificial reefs, are often popular destinations for divers, snorkelers, and fishermen. Today, many local government units or LGUs, the private sector, and non-governmental organizations, continue to engage in artificial reef projects, as part of coastal resource management programs, basically, to increase fish catch. Each one of us, play an active role in biodiversity protection and conservation. We can help, by refraining from doing any destructive activities, that undermine the food production capacity of coastal and marine resources. Thank you, to all the members of, the Philippine Dental Association, Negros Oriental Chapter, for your effort and initiative. And, kudos to everyone, who made this enriching, and life-fulfilling experience achievable. The realization of this project, wouldn't be a success without your valued full support. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to know the latest update from OFW Insights World.